Hey guys! Welcome back to the channel. Samsung just unveiled its Galaxy A Quantum smartphone, which is a variant of the Galaxy A71 5G with a quantum RNG security chip inside. This chip was developed by SK Telecom subsidiary, ID Contique. Now, RNG stands for Random Number Generator, and as the name suggests, this chip generates random numbers. Now to understand why this is important, we should dive a little into the concept of encryption, and decryption of data. Simply put, encryption is the encoding of information, so that it cannot be read or used, without decoding or decrypting it. We use encryption almost every day, for example, when we send an email or make an online transaction, our computer encrypts our data, and sends it over the internet, so that no one other than the recipient can decrypt and use that data. To encrypt the data, the sender should use complex algorithms, to encode the information, so that no one other than the one who receives it, can decrypt or decode it to get back the actual data. So, to achieve this, the sender uses something called a key, to encrypt the message, and the receiver can use this key to get back the actual message. In this video, we are not going to talk about the algorithms used, or how these keys are shared. But basically, these keys are generated by computers, using random numbers. The random numbers generated, are given as input to a mathematical function. This function then generates a sequence of numbers, which is our key. Conventional RNGs uses a seed as input, and generates a number corresponding to that seed, which becomes the random number generated. This seed is usually a predictable number or value, like the system time. This predictability, makes the encryption vulnerable to attacks. So, the more random the seeds are, the more secure the encryption, as it becomes difficult for the attacker to predict those numbers. The attacker can predict them, because the random numbers generated, are not actually random, but just seem to be random. If we have a big set of the random numbers generated, we'll be able to observe a pattern, which can be used to interpolate the rest of the sequence. This can be avoided by generating actual random numbers, which is not possible under normal circumstances, as classical computers can only generate a single output, corresponding to a given input. This is where the new quantum RNG chip comes into play. This chip has a CMOS sensor. And an LED. The sensor senses quantum noise emitted by the LED, called shot noise. And no computer to date can predict those values, which makes it truly random. These analog signals are converted to digital signals, and then given to a mathematical function to generate random numbers, which in turn can be used as seeds for encryption keys. From this, we can clearly see that Samsung has aimed to make this the most secure smartphone right now. And that should be because prediction and retrieval of encryption keys using quantum computers will be prominent in the near future. So we can expect these quantum chips to be an industry standard once quantum computers are ready for deployment. Anyways guys that's it for this video. Hope you like the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.